Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and this is it people. The last of my Yankee Candle glitch came in. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for the codes. I'm so happy that Bad and Abler and, you know, and Norma from Candle Dancer, hi! They put out codes and I made out and I know many of us did so little by little I was trying to do my best to behave because I knew, I knew that Yankee Candle's essay, summer SAS, say, you know, it was going to come down the road and I wanted to do my best to behave. But let's face it, the glitch was wonderful and we saved some big bucks. Did I go crazy with it? A little tiny bit, just a little tiny. In total, I actually made four holes. Three of them were mine and one of them was for family. See ya. I was good. I was okay. I was okay. But I'm going to show you what I got. And I got the last bits and pieces actually today. And I have to tell you something. It's very warm. I live in the Northeast. It's very warm. It's in the, I think it's almost 90 today. So when it's the opposite as far as warm is concerned, where candles are concerned, usually when I film and any of us do anything regarding candles and we receive them in the cold weather, we have to wait like 24 hours till they become a choir room temperature so we can sniff them. Where in the summer when we get them, they're marinating, literally marinating out in the sun. And I hope that all that warmth will bring out their true sense. I don't know, but I got two hauls or, you know, the, the last of my hauls, yesterday and today so I'm going to show you what I got and we'll talk about it. Here it is. Dune grass. I did manage to pick up one of these. I saw great reviews on it um, and I have to tell you about this one too. I, I went to my, I ordered this before going to my store, my Yankee Candle store to see if they had popped up with any of the SAS candles because in the past they've been putting out the candles and we get like a little preview sighting and what I had seen was nothing out of this world, but I ordered this ahead of time only because of the reviews I heard about it. And I asked Norma Candle Dancer about this. Thanks, girl. I asked her about Dune Grass because I wondered whether or not it would smell nice. And she said it was nice. And a big thing I heard about it, it was strong. And I said, well, let me try it. Hopefully it's not like wild seagrass, which I did not like. That was came out in the spring from Yankee Candle. But as it was being shipped to me, as I was waiting for it, I went to the store, smelled it, and I said, this is not bad. So it's pretty good on cold, you know, on cold marinated cold dune grass. So I got a 22 ounce jar of this one. And I got a couple of backups. Yes, I did. I got a backup of a 22 ounce jar of Oceanside, which I totally love. Totally, it smells wonderful. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it's shiny and slightly still oily on the top because it's in the ocean side smells really really good and did a review ocean side uh amber glow did a review of this one too amber glow when i got it i don't know if you could see it 22 ounces see it's the oil is all over the jar and it's dripping inside basically yep it's dripping it's basically because it's so warm. I love Amber Glow. It smells good. Did a review on it. It's woody, sandalwood, men's cologne, yeah, I would say, but it's really a nice fragrance. Got my back up of it because I'm burning it. And reach over. Another backup, Midnight Oasis. Did a review on this. This one it smells so good. So, this one. I got this one, 22 ounces, and I'm burning it too. I'm trying to do my best to finish off the candles because I, I don't know if I could say reloaded, but I did, and I don't want to have so many around. It's not that I don't love them because I love them, but I don't have a room dedicated to just candles with shelves and stuff. Although if I had a room for that, I'd have a room for shoes. I'm kidding. No, I'm not would be nice all right amber sunset i got this one i read the reviews for it and people would talk about amber glow and they would talk about another one 
Amber Moon and Amber Sunset, people would say, I like Amber Moon, I like Amber Glow, but I wish Amber Sunset, I wish it smelled like Amber Sunset. And they talked it so about it so much that I figured I'd give it a try. And here it is, Amber Sunset. It's really weird because Amber Glow, Amber Moon, Amber Sunset, they're very similar because they have the amber and sort of sandalwood stuff going on in there. But they're slightly different in each case. One Amber Glow, a little bit more woody, Amber... This one, Amber Moon, a little bit more perfumey. This one I haven't smelled, you know, burnt it yet. I have burnt Amber Moon. This is sweet. This is a little sweeter than the rest of them. So they all have like a little different level, yet the same, similar, but a different degree, a different level, a little bit more of this, a little bit less of that, so on, so on. And let me see, I showed you all the large jars. Oh. I got something. This was hard because they had that uh, spend $30 and get the normally the medium jar that's, that's $24.99 for $10. Bucks. Well, here it was. Patchouli. Yeah, I got a patchouli. And this is going to be a gift actually. Ah, because I have patchouli stock up. I have enough of it. But this is for someone that I, you know, a family that members, members that I love very much, that they love patchouli. And they're going to get this one. But man, $10. And I think with the coupon or with all these glitches, I don't even know what it came out to. But I made out. So there's patchouli. A 20, uh, this is a 14 and a half ounce. Yep, yep. 14 and a half ounce um, jar single wick of patchouli and it was good too that I ordered it because I know I tried to do it again and um, I got error messages from Yankee that said sorry but we've run out we don't have it anymore but I think it's on the website so we'll see honeydew melon I did get it this is the same thing spend $30 get this one for 10 bucks I this one is leaving it's very nice very fresh sweet but not too bad and I got this one for $10 as well. So honeydew melon, there you go. And, oh, something that I wanted. Tea lights, cause I love the Midnight Oasis because I like Midnight Oasis and I love Yankee Candle tea lights. I did get a couple of voters, but nothing out of this world. My favorite, Ginger Dusk. I got a couple of these because the smell is so strong. This is the only candle that I can honestly stay, say that I have a lot of. It's the only one. Usually when I get candles, I'll get one, and as I mentioned, I like it, I'll, I'll get a backup. But ma maximum maybe two, and that's it, of each one. And the very rare do I have a lot of anything, but Ginger Dusk, I must admit, there, I have, a, I think, maybe four. I love Ginger Dusk, the large 22 ounce jar. I love this fragrance, but that's the only one. You know, I know a lot of people like, you know, they just back up things, but, which is cool. But again, if I had a room with lots of shelves and it was just devoted, no, it doesn't work that way. Oh, well. Okay, and then what did I get? Oh, I did get one tiny accessory, only one from this haul. And I don't know if I'm going to return it, this little votive cup called Blue Ripples. I don't know. I may return it. It's supposed to be a votive cup, but I'm not putting a votive in there because we know that if we put a votive inside this thing, it's going to spread out and it's going to be a pain in the neck to remove. I bought it only because of the blue color. It is so pretty and I thought it would match the um, Bath and Body Works candle that, you know, the hobnob. I call it the hobnob. I know hobnail, hobnob. The blue one. Uh, but. I thought it would look pretty against it, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it or bring it back. I have no idea. I think it was eight, no, six, seven, eight. I don't know. Something like that, but I may, I may return it. And then finally, what did I get in this mass amount? This thing. Now this was cheap. I know, I shall pull it out. Yankee Candle had this gift set and these are 220 14 and a half ounce jars, two 14, two medium, 14 and a half ounce Yankee Candle jars. And they were in their website for $17.99. And I think by the time the glitch was over, I know I paid less than $17.99. Now we all know um, if you buy one, $30, you get one for 10 bucks. 
but let's face it some of the the candle scents if i would have seen these one of them i didn't i might have gone that way but then you had to spend thirty dollars and you know to spend it, it was 17.99 um you know the price was too good and plus i got it for cheaper and what was inside this gift set farmer's market which i actually do like and i figured i'd save it for fall it's really nice it's like pumpkins and and apples it's all kinds of wonderful fall what we would consider fall fruit and one candle that i've always wanted to try but i like it even better because it's in a medium jar which means that after i burn it you know i can toss it or i'll burn it a little time a little bit at a time talk slow and cozy blank no cozy sweater and i heard a lot about this one too and i don't know if it has patchouli in it but it smells nice and it doesn't smell like laundry detergent which sometimes i know a lot of people like laundry detergent smells i i like them when you put the little dryer sheets in i like them when you're hanging your clothes out i like when your clothes are being washed and you can smell it but i don't like it in a candle but this doesn't smell like laundry detergent so i got cozy sweater and 17.99 so eight dollars nine dollars a candle nine dollars a candle plus medium jars plus i didn't have to spend thirty dollars plus i think they were cheaper because of the glitch so i figured i'd take advantage because i do have enough ball candles and this one i'll throw in occasionally and this one i'll throw in whenever the heck i want to cozy sweater because why not why not so that's what happened i went nuts but i didn't go too nuts because i knew the summer sas sale is already upon us and that was before that but I wanted to show you my haul and that's it folks I think we all made pretty good choices and we all saved a lot of money so now where the heck am I gonna put these things oh one last thing I did get one other thing here's what happened I went to the store um, if any of you saw some of my hauls prior to this I bought the Oh my goodness, let me get it for you. Let me put this on pause. Okay. Okay. I did, in a previous haul, get a candle from the Homefront Girl Collections. It's, I think there are five candles. And if you had seen my review on it, I mentioned that this it has no scent. Break of Day is called Break of Day, the white one. I, unfortunately, it's really for a good cause that they created the candles, but this, the candle itself, that one, Break of Day, the white one, Home Front Girl, Girls, no scent. No scent, uh, hardly a scent on cold, and when you burn it, it wasn't even the kind of candle that even if you stood over it, you could smell anything. It was just a, you know, a wax candle that in case the, the, there's a, a, a power outage you could actually put a candle on without it. an unscented candle basically it wasn't anything and it was sort of sad because I was really expecting something from it so I switched it out for something else and I had seen I had gone to the store and I had um, asked them if anything else was going on and they mentioned that some somebody had returned a candle and the candle they brought out some candles and um, you know um lovely kiku which i adore and i got you know i switched one candle i got that one and they showed me this meadow mist which is an old candle somebody had returned it no it's not a yellow label i know this is an older one um somebody returned it no and I gave it a sniff and I go, oh, that has scent. It's like a, basically when it says meadow mist, basically it is green grass, meadows, a little bit of flowers. I read reviews on it. I asked uh, Lisa from Lisa Shares. Hi, Lisa, because Lisa got this. Lisa got this at an outlet, and Yankee Candle outlet. And I mentioned to Lisa, Lisa, do you think it's good? And she said, you know, she smelled it. She thinks it's okay. It's nice. People have, uh, you know, mentioned that it smells good. So... I looked at the bottom date on this before I bought it and I asked him put it on hold for me because I'm not sure let me do a little investigation on it and the bottom date on this candle was 2012 and look how oily it is it's 2012 and I said you know what 
I like this at least from what I get out of the candle. It smells where unfortunately break of day did not smell, but definitely it is a green noted candle like green grass and flowers. Now at the time this one was there, dune grass, and I thought let me get them together to see if they're different. They are different. They, they're both green grassy kind of smells, but dune grass definitely is more of a, I guess it's not like wild seagrass. It's nicer than wild seagrass. Again, I don't like wild seagrass, but everybody likes something different. This is nice and fresh and clean and beachy, and this is nice and fresh and clean and like a meadow, a meadow with grass and flowers occasionally coming out. So, you know, pretty. So that's what I did. So that was it. So I didn't, I, I like it. We shall see what will happen with it. But that's the end of my haul. I did, I think I did pretty good on the glitch. So that's it. Yes, I did go to the SAS sale and I wasn't gonna spend anything, but yeah, we all know that story. Did I get some things? Yeah, I did. I'll show you that next. Thank you. The, uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and take care. And I'm going to keep an eye out for more glitches because, you know, they're coming in, dribs and drabs, because we're getting them. And, of course, the SAS sale. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and take care. Bye-bye.